linear combination and spanning set show that the set of vectors 2 comma 1 and minus 1 minus 1 is a spanning set in R2. Now what does that mean? It really means that you need to find a linear combination of these which could represent any vector in R2. That is what it means. So let's let's put it in an equation form. That is, it means that A times A is a real number, 2 comma 1 plus B times the other vector minus 1 minus 1 should be equal to any vector x, y in R2. That is what it means. Read the problem once again. Show that the set of vectors, these two, 2, 1 and minus 1 minus 1, is a spanning set in R2. When we say spanning set in R2, it means their linear combination can represent any vector in R2. So when we say any vector, we should imagine this to be a position vector, right? So when we write these numbers, these are all position vectors. So that is what. So let's take a general position vector x, y and see if we can find a value of a and b which can give us the vector x, y. Right? So let's do scalar multiplication. And when we do scalar multiplication, we get here 2a, comma a plus minus b minus b equals to x, y. Now we can do properties of vector addition, right? So when we add, we can add x components and the y components. So we get 2a minus b comma a minus b equals to x, y. Now, if this linear combination has to be equal to x and y, that means that 2a minus b should be equal to x and a minus b should be equal to y. Their corresponding components should be exactly same. So we get our equation 2a minus b is equal to x and a minus b equals to y. So let's write the, these equations as equation number 1 and equation number 2. Now from these equations we can find the value of a and b. So these are two equations with two unknowns and always two equations with two unknowns will give us the value of unknown. Now here in this case what we can do is if we add we can subtract the two because it's minus p and minus p same coefficients right. So let's do 1 minus 2. If I do 1 minus 2 what do I get? I get a equals to x minus y. So I get a value of a. So x and y are known values in our coordinate plane in R2. So a will be difference of these two values in this particular case. Now once you know what a is, you can find what b is. Since what is b equal to here? b is equal to a plus y. So we can rearrange this equation and write this as b is equal to a plus y. Now since a is equal to x minus y, we can find what b is. So we will substitute the value of a which we found just now here. So we get x minus y plus y that is x. So the value of b from here is equal to x. And therefore we can write x, y as, let me write it down here in a different thing. So what do we get from here? So we get x, y, the vector, any position vector in R2 is equal to a times and a is the value of a which we found was x minus y, correct? x minus y times 2 comma 1 plus the value of b which, which we found was x, x times minus 1 minus 1. Do you see that? x, y is known to us and therefore these two terms, the scalar multiples, are also known to us, right? This was our a and this was b.
correct so therefore we can write any vector in r2 any general x and y is any general vector in r2 as a linear combination of the given set of vectors and since we can write any vector in r2 as a linear combination of the given set we say that the set can span is a spanning set in r2 do you get it so that is what it means 